Hello children, hope you all are fine. So, in our last video, we have discussed the uh, chapter explanation of your book, New Malmary, Standard 5, Chapter 9, Red Eye. So, in this video, we are going to discuss question and answers of that chapter. So, the first question is from your inside question of your book. What does Cindy think of Emily? Cindy thinks Emily is silly because she is scared of spiders, white mice, frog and snakes. Emily thinks all snakes are venomous and would refuse to touch red eye. Next question. Which expression does Cindy use to show us that she has changed her mind about something? So, the answer is... On second thoughts. Next, why do you think Cindy said she wanted Red Eye to quarrel into Emily's bed? Here, children, Cindy was very upset with Red Eye's disappearance. She suspected Emily of being involved in Red Eye's disappearance. She was angry and thus said that she wished it would quarrel into Emily's bed. Next, Cindy says it was really hard for Emily to touch the snake. Which word, which word tells us this? Shuddered. Okay. She will be writing. Shuddered is the word tells us that Cindy says it was really hard for Emily to touch the snake. Next. Making connections. Children here you can see uh, there is a question. Quick answers. Okay, the, here the story gives us something interesting information about greater snakes. Draw up the fact fill file using the format given below. Then draw a, or draw or stick a picture of a greater snake in your notebook. Okay, so, so let us see here some questions are there like appearance, habit, feeding habits, characteristics, behavior. So let us see here appearance. Appearance of a red eye is how? Appearance, it is not too long and has three pale strips and orange dots on its body and blue slashes on its head. It also has red eyes. Habitant, habitant, let's see. It lives in farm and forest, mostly grassy places. Feeding habits, how they eat. Okay, feeding habits means how they eat. It can open its mouth when wide, very wide and swallow a whole piece of raw fish. Now, characteristics. Okay, what are the characteristics? Features. It shades its skin. Then, behavior. What, how they react. How, how, how is its behavior. Here, it sticks out its tongue to smell things. Okay. Next. Reference to contest. Children, reference to contest here number 2. On second thought, I said she might learn a lot from red eye. Okay. So, number 1, number bit A, question. Who said these words in the story? So, children, uh, here, please, this is very much important. Okay. So, you have to know who has spoke the, here the words. Okay. So, then the second question, whom did she refer to? And the third question, why did the speaker have, se have second thought? Let's see the answer. So, who said these words in the story? The answer is, Cindy said these words in the story. Okay, then, whom did she refer to? She, refer, re re she was referring to her sister Emily. Okay, why did the speaker have second thoughts? The speaker had second thoughts because she thought Emily would learn a lo uh, lesson from Red Eye. Cindy was mischievous and knew that Emily did not like snakes. Here, number three. Well, if that snake means so much to you, I guess I will help you, she said. What was the snake called? What did it look like? Next question. Who said this line? What help did she offer? Now, the next question. Briefly describe how the speaker succeeded in helping the 
listener. So here are the answers children. Bit A. What was the snake called? What did it look like? What was the snake called? The snake was called red eye. What did it look like? It had three pale strips and orange dot on its body and blue slashes on its head. It had red eyes. Okay. Then who said these lines? Why? Uh, what help uh, did she offer? Emily spoke these lines to Cindy. She offered to help look for Cindy's lost snake red eye. Briefly describe how the speaker succeed in helping the listener. The speaker Emily succeed in helping the listener Cindy by finding her pet snake. Okay. Next. Read, reflect and write. Number 4 question. Okay. Number 4 is where did Cindy find red eye? Okay. Here is the answer. Where did the Cindy find red eye? So, Cindy found red eye in her uncle's farm. Okay. So, here you can see this is number fourth answer. Then, number fifth. Cindy bought red eye home saying that Emily's, Emily might learn a lot from red eye. When she said this line, what did Cindy really want to do? Let's see here. Cindy really liked the snake and she wanted to keep it as a pet. When she said this line, she also wanted to get even with her sister who had refused to lend her money or her hairbrush. Okay. Then, how did Cindy feel when Emily offered to look for red eye? Cindy felt sad to think that Emily was not a bad person and that she had never known it. Okay. So children number 7, Emily decided to look for red eye once she realized that the snake meant a lot to her sister. What does this tells us about her? So answer let's see. This tells us that Emily had actually a very nice person because although she didn't like snakes, she cared for her sister and started looking for it. Okay. Number 8. What did Cindy and Emily learn from Red Eye Disappearance and the search for, me, for it? Both Cindy and Emily learned that they actually care about each other. They both made sacrifices for each other. Cindy gave her up her pet snake and Emily overcome her fear of snake and found Red 